We go to Kona State where the government has relaxed for one day, 6 a.m. to 12 midnight on Thursday. The Deputy Governor and Chairman State Task Force Committee on COVID-19, Dr. Nasr Yusuf Gawuna, disclosed this during the maiden media briefing of the committee. Gawuna said the relaxation of the lockdown is to enable the people to prepare for Ramadan. And now, Dr. Tuyu Tuyi Meba Wundu, a public health practitioner, joins us via telephone. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Nigeria is recording more cases. What do you think the government is not getting right as regards tackling the COVID-19 outbreak? Uh, there, there are a lot of gaps um, in resolving this issue. One, um, the government is not testing enough, obviously. Um, secondly, the palliatives are not being deployed effectively to enable people to stay at home. Um, fourthly, the communication process is still messed up in a way. We allow the social media to direct the narrative as much as possible. And um, there are a lot of doubts. There's still a lot of doubts about whether the thing is real. You can imagine one um, past leaders of Nigeria saying that these cases are cases of uh, malaria and typhoid. That that is very sad, indeed. Now that the situation in Kanu is bogging everyone, what's your assessment of the handling by the state government? and the responses being given by the federal government. Uh, there are conflicting figures at the moment. On the one hand, the government is saying the debt is not as reported. On the other hand, they're saying it's not connected to COVID-19, that investigation is ongoing. What is your assessment of what's going on in Kano? Now, pre-COVID-19, we knew that Kano State had a lot of problems. You, know, you can remember the cases of Lassa fever, the death that happened in Kano State, you know that the doctors were partially on strike. The Kano is not having sufficient number of health workers. And then the response of the government has been very, very tardy. Kano has a population of close to 14 million, one of the biggest states in Nigeria, and the commercial center, uh, you know, with all the focuses um, that, you know, it can attract. What we have seen is that the government of Kano has not prepared very well for this COVID response. Initially, they thought it was just a rumor. Now, having done that, the, the personal protective equipment were not provided sufficiently. The doctors were crying and making noise that you need to provide us personal protective equipment if you want us to work. This, that is not there. Secondly, Kano houses one of the highest number of street urchins called almajuris. This is, this is a really great threat to any attempt to, to impose social distancing or lockdown or even practice basic sanitation. We, we, we understand we always, that they're already moving some of them back to their respective location. We know, for instance, that some have been moved from Kano to other places and some have been moved from other places to Kano. What are the likely implications of this? Very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. You, first and foremost, I don't think the law allows you to move people from your state because you think they're not from your state. Secondly, you know, the challenge is this. Even if the whole Kano is free of COVID-19, the, the mere fact that there's COVID-19 in Kaduna puts Kano under stress. And then this state that you are sending them to, how well prepared are they to counter the spread of the virus? So what Kano should have done is to raise the standard at home and ensure that people in Kano get appropriate treatment without moving them away. So this is what we're saying about having proper preparation for this. Hello? So these are the things we need to look at. There's no reason moving people here and there because you don't know the status of those people you are moving. Now Kano is having a challenge with testing. So if you are moving people away, do you know their state? If, you are, if people are coming, do you know their state? So I, I think... Kano is just doing a, you know, um, a shortcut, you know, 
to re, to addressing the the, the COVID nineteen challenge in their states. All right, Doctor. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you for having me.